Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales, a place you'll find stories and fan fictions written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. This specific storyline is a production of the Three Ranger Bros Studios, a collective studio created by myself, Mark the Red Corner Stranger, and Cosplay Dude 637. This is our second storyline, the first one being Parents Global, so make sure you check out that after this. This storyline is in dedication to the late Sam, a friend of the Zeard Hero Network, Mark's father, Peter Bailey, and cosplay dude's daughter, Kylie. Now let's get on with the story. Three Brothers Amongst the Stars. Chapter Zero. Goodbye, Sam. Buzz, Jasper, and West all stood amongst the rest of the crowd. Everybody was dressed in black. Every head was hung in sorrow. Every eye was drowned in tears. Each tear fell like the rain in mimicry. The headstone that stood before them was brand new. It was cold and made of stone. Here lies Sam Starlight was the words that was written across it. The three brothers were not Sam's children. She did not conceive them. She did not carry them for nine months and she did not give birth to them. But she did raise them. She saw them as her very own children. She raised them and taught them from right from wrong. She taught them everything they knew. She taught them to run, to have fun, to be themselves. She helped Buzz to become a pilot. She helped Jasper become a medic. And she helped Wes become a mechanic. She was there when their parents died and she was there till she took her last breath. Sam was the person who everyone knew. She brought a smile to everyone's face. She would help everyone whether it was giving someone her last slice of bread or breaking up a fight by being the bigger, more louder mouthed individual than everyone else. She was sassy, she was loud, and she was fun. But most of all, she was caring. The funeral was a blur. The three brothers shook a lot of hands, hugged a lot of people, and got told sorry for your loss by almost everybody. Two days later, they felt just as heartbroken as they did the day she died. The three boys had been given the key to her house, and they all agreed to go through her belongings, sooner rather than later. Buzz took the keys and unlocked the door and pushed the door wide open, but stood there. His two younger brothers walked up and placed their hands on Buzz's shoulders. It's hard to walk in, Buzz muttered. We got this, man, Jasper told him. We gotta do this, Wes sighed. Buzz nodded and all three brothers walked into Sam's house. They walked around, taking in the smell of the house. It smelled just like old smoke and new scented candles. Her family pictures layered the walls like a layer of happiness. The three brothers started packing up all of Sam's stuff. Within a few hours, they had a lot of the house already packed into boxes. Everything was going smoothly until Jasper found an old set of keys. I think I found the keys to the warehouse. Jasper told his brothers. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She would never let us in there. Wes chuckled. I tried once. God, was she pissed at me. Buzz sighed. We should check it out. We need to go through all her stuff. Jasper suggested. Okay, let's go. Luckily, it's just over that fence, huh? Wes agreed. The three boys walked into the back garden and hopped over the fence. They walked past two rather large trees, then they found the large warehouse. It was well structured and she never let anyone go inside. Jasper walked in and placed the key into the lock and turned the key and the lock unlocked. As he removed the lock and opened the door, they walked in to find a massive spaceship. Holy crap! Did you guys know Sam had a ship? Buzz gasped. Space travel was... All the norm. Ships flew in and out of the planet every couple of minutes. All three brothers had left Earth several times, mostly because of work, but they never knew Sam had a spaceship docked hidden away in a warehouse. Recognised. Buzz. Jasper. Wes. The ship said. Then the rear end of the ship opened and a walk platform extended out. All three brothers looked at each other, then walked up into the ship. The walls lit up with screens and consoles. The boys split up and explored. There were multiple rooms, a lot of rooms, and a kitchen, which was completely stocked. Jasper found a massive set of medical supplies. He examined all the medical equipment, the herbs, and the medicine. Buzz sat in the pilot seat. He gripped the steering grips. He ran his hands over the consoles and the buttons and switches, and Wes found a box 
box of tools. Some old and original RF tools, some high-tech and some alien. He recognised most of them. Then he found blasters and, and a licence form for them. He picked up the form and found his brothers. He walked in and found Buzz with another licensing form. This... this ship is licensed. It can be used. I'm confused. Why she never used it? Buzz stated, Yeah, and get this, I found energy pistols and rifles, all licensed as well. Wes replied, Yeah, I think I found out why she had the license for the ship and the guns. Jasper said, he picked up a small box and emptied it on the table. There were maps, star charts, and documents of worlds and planets some of the boys had never even heard of. Buzz found a black and golden octagon crystal. What's this? Buzz asked. Holy crap, it's a solid urn sapphire, Wes gasped. You want to explain that, bro? Jasper asked with a chuckle. Um, yeah, so some races would cremate their past loved ones and then put the ashes into some crystallized sort of form. Some would then use them to be added for memorial paintings or scatter them into roots so they become part of plants and stuff. But some simply just turn them into solid crystal, like this, Wes explained. That might explain this. Buzz said, picking up a death certificate and presenting it to the other two. Kylie Peter Bailey. I have no idea who she is, West stated. He pulled out his holocom from his pocket and placed the small rectangle on the table on a holographic screen projected in front of West. Search for Kylie Peter Bailey, West told the holocom. The screen changed to a data file. Okay, this says Kylie Peter Bailey was a human half-breed, uh, top of her field, died 25 years ago, had a will, and requested that her iron sapphire be placed in the golden wall on the seven skies of serenity. Wes explained. I wonder who she was. Jasper sighed. Uh, guys? I think she was Sam's daughter, Wes said in shock. Sam didn't have kids, did she? Buzz asked, confused. Guys, this is her daughter. Wait, how old was Sam? Wes asked, confused. Guys, Sam wanted to take this urine sephir to the seven skies of Serenity. Do the math, boys. She died then 25 years ago? What happened 24 years ago? Jasper asked them. We were adopted. Raising us. Stop Sam from this. Buzz said sadly. Damn. I feel bad. West sighed. Yeah, Sam was there. She was our entire world. She showed us the universe. Hell, seems like she learned it off of her daughter. Jasper said. You know, I have worked enough to earn a lot of time off. Pilots get a lot of holidays. So to speak. Buzz stated. I have worked on countless planets. My medical training comes in handy. Jasper shrugged. Give me 20 minutes and I'll know exactly how this shit works at the back of my hand, Wes said with a spell. So, it's agreed. Buzz asked. Let's do what Sam wanted to do. What Sam needed to do. Let's get this urine sephir to where it needed to be. Put her daughter to rest. Jasper stated. Road trip time, baby. West chewed. Three days had passed. The three boys had cleared all things they had to do, making sure that they were clear to leave for a voyage. A voyage in honour of the woman who raised them. In honour of the woman who put her entire life goal on hold to make sure the three young children had a good, full and honest life. Buzz sat in the pilot seat. Wes and Jasper sat behind him at the consoles. Buzz started the engine and the ship roared to life. It lifted off the ground and Buzz flew it out of the Earth's atmosphere. They reached the protective barrier. Scanning. Rebel Ranger identified. Access granted. The computer scanner said. Then the barrier opened and Buzz drove the ship out of the barrier, leaving Earth and entering the universe. You... Do you realise we don't know where we're going, right? Well, we have this list of those planets that Kylie went to. Maybe we can start with one of those. West stated. Then he opened up the hollow screen, revealing the list of planets. Just tell me where we're going, and I will take us there. 
Buzz muttered. Jasper rolled his eyes, then pressed a planet on the list. The information was transferred to Buzz's screen, and Buzz set course to the first planet. The three brothers started the course to complete a task close to their hearts. The three brothers started their journey amongst the stars.